check this out, a woman protesting the war in Ukraine interrupted Russia's main evening newscast yesterday. She held a sign saying, no war, do not believe the propaganda, they are lying to you. The woman who was identified as an editor and producer for that very Russian TV channel recorded a video beforehand that has now gone viral. In it, she says she's been at the station for years and quote, working on Kremlin propaganda and now I'm very ashamed. I'm ashamed that I've allowed lies to be said on the TV screens. I am ashamed that I let the Russian people be zombified. Now, the woman was detained by Russian police and lawyers with human rights groups are saying they are unable to locate her now. There is this new picture, however, of her with a lawyer that has circulated on Russian media. She reportedly was fined 30,000 rubles, which is about $280. It is unclear if she's going to face more charges or if this is like an old photo. Of course, a lot of people don't believe the propaganda. Um, I also just want to say her name, Marina Ovsianikova. Wow, the, the, the courage, Tori, considering that she can face 15 years in prison, who knows what else, she has two kids, I know. unbelievable. Talk about sacrifice, she premeditated this, so she went on and had a video message ready. <clears throat> so this was a plan by her. And what she's doing, in my information, is being a soldier of the truth. She has nothing to do with arms or guns or bombs. This is her truth, this is her weapon, the truth. I can tell you, she said in her message, what's going on in Ukraine is a crime and Russia is the aggressor. The responsibility lies on one person and that is Putin. You've just looked Putin in the eye and called him out. Do you know how terrifying that is? It is not an easy thing. Any dissent in Russia, you're gone. So this woman- Especially his history with journalists. Absolutely. So for her to have done this on her own TV show, which is seen by a million thousand people, it's already been scrubbed. It's the only TV it's show the only that they watch see. right now. That's There's right. other shows, but he has shut those down. This right. is the one that he can funnel his propaganda through. Well, just again, I always want to compare things to my own life to make myself better. And for people out there, they're just like, oh, she ran on TV no. with a sign. It's not that. She, we should be worried for her life, yes. okay? And then my point is, be thankful for what we have here. We're able to, at award shows, on TV shows, say our opinion, say how we feel. But if you're on the far left and far right, and I always say this, you're spreading your own propaganda in sorts, right? And be lucky you have the right to do that and you're not killed or assassinated for it. So I want this to be a learning lesson for what she's risking, what she put at risk to go on there. Because yeah. everyone knows who she is now. And Putin in Russia is not happy with this. Yeah, yeah and uh, that's the thing. Obviously, this is very brave of her, but when you have children, when you have family, I mean, if you think about the way the mafia operates or the, the gang or anybody that intimidates, they don't just go after you. They're like, oh, Sam, you got real cute kids too. Be ashamed if something happened yeah. to them. And that's immediately what I thought about. I thought this was super brave and, and heroic, but the, the ripple effect throughout the people that she's connected to is going to be a lot. So I think that it shows you the amount she was willing to risk because I'm sure I'm not telling her anything she doesn't know. She also said they can't arrest us all. So she's hoping that she's going to see a lot of people follow suit. And I hope that for her sake too, because if you have that many people, Numbers, yeah. exactly. Exactly. You can you can um, change history. The Literally. truth wants to come out. I know. Wow. Well, she is brave, and we are praying that she will be okay. Uh, and this sparks the revolution.